The Rolls-Royce RB211 is a family of high-bypass turbofan engines made by Rolls-Royce plc and capable of generating 37,400 pounds to 60,600 pounds force thrust. Originally developed for the Lockheed L-1011 TRI Star, it entered service in 1972 and was the only engine to power this type of aircraft. Its AB211 engine was the first three-spool engine, and it was to turn Rolls-Royce from a significant player in the aero engine industry into a global leader. Already in the early 1970s the engine was reckoned by the company to be capable of at least 50 years of continuous development. The RB211 was officially superseded in the 1990s by the Rolls-Royce Trent family of engines, the conceptual offspring of the RB211. History, Background in 1966 American Airlines announced a requirement for a new short-medium-range airliner with a focus on low-cost post-seat operations. While they were looking for a twin-engine plane, the aircraft manufacturers needed more than one customer to justify developing a new airliner. Eastern Airlines were also interested, but needed greater range and needed to operate long routes over water. At the time this demanded three engines in order to provide redundancy. Other airlines were also in favor of three engines. Lockheed and Douglas responded with designs, the L-1011 TRI Star and DC-10 respectively. Both had three engines, transcontinental range and seated around 300 passengers in a wide-body layout with two aisles. Both planes also required new engines. Engines were undergoing a period of rapid advance due to the introduction of the high-bypass concept which provided for greater thrust, improved fuel economy and less noise than the earlier low-bypass designs. Rolls-Royce had been working on an engine of the required 45,000 a pound force thrust class for an abortive attempt to introduce an updated Hawker Siddeley Trident as the RB178. This work was later developed for the 47,500 a pound force thrust RB207 to be used on the Airbus A300 before it was cancelled in favor of the RB211 program. Meanwhile Rolls-Royce was also working on a series of triple spool designs as replacements for the Conway, which promised to deliver higher efficiencies. In this configuration, three groups of turbines spin three separate concentric shafts to power three sections of the compressor area running at different speeds. In addition to allowing each stage of the compressor to run at its optimal speed, the triple spool design is also more compact and rigid, although more complex to build and maintain. Several designs were being worked on at the time, including a 10,000 a pound force thrust design known as the RB203 intended to replace the Rolls Royce Spey. Work started on the Conway replacement engine in July 1961 and a twin spool demonstrator engine to prove the HP compressor, combustor, and turbine system designs had been run by 1966. Rolls-Royce chose the triple spool system in 1965 as the simplest, lowest cost solution to the problem of obtaining lower fuel consumption and reduced noise levels at a constant power setting. Work on the RB211 as essentially a scaled-down RB207 began in 1966 July with the first certificated engines being scheduled to be available by December 1970 at 33,260 pounds takeoff thrust and at a price of $511,000 each. Finalization of design, on June 23, 1967, Rolls-Royce offered Lockheed the RB211-06 for the L-1011. The new engine was to be rated at 33,260 a pound force thrust and combined features of several engines then under development, the large high power, high bypass design from the RB207 and the triple spool design of the RB203. To this they added one totally new piece of technology a fan stage built of a new carbon fiber material called a field developed at RAE Farnborough. The weight savings were considerable over a similar fan made of steel, and would have given the RB211 an advantage over its competitors in terms of power to weight ratio. Despite knowing that the time scale would be challenging for an engine incorporating these new features, Rolls-Royce committed to putting the RB211 into service in 1971. Lockheed felt the new engine would offer a distinct advantage over the otherwise similar DC-10 product. However, Douglas had also requested proposals from Rolls for an engine to power its DC-10, 
and in October 1967 Rolls responded with the 35,400 a pound force thrust version of the RB211 designated the RB211-10. There followed a period of intense negotiations between airframe manufacturers Lockheed and Douglas, potential engine suppliers Rolls-Royce and General Electric and Pratt and & Whitney, as well as the major U.S. airlines. During this time prices were negotiated downwards, while the required thrust ratings were raised ever higher. By early 1968, Rolls was offering a 40,600 a pound force thrust engine designated a B211-18. Finally, on March 29, 1968 Lockheed announced that it had received orders for 94 TRI stars, and placed an order with Rolls-Royce for 150 sets of engines designated a B211-22. A B211-22 series, development and testing, the RB211's complexity required a lengthy development and testing period. By autumn 1969 Rolls-Royce was struggling to meet the performance guarantees to which it had committed, the engine had insufficient thrust, was overweight and its fuel consumption was too high. The situation deteriorated further when in May 1970 the newer fuel composite, fan stage, after passing every other test, shattered into pieces when a chicken was fired into it at high speed. Rolls had been developing a titanium blade as an insurance against difficulties with the fuel, but this meant extra cost and more weight. It also brought its own technical problems when it was discovered that only one side of the titanium billet was of the right metallurgical quality for blade fabrication. In September 1970, Rolls-Royce reported to the government that development costs for the RB211 had risen to a £170.3 million, nearly double the original estimate. Furthermore the estimated production costs now exceeded the A230,375 pounds selling price of each engine. The project was in crisis. Insolvency and aftermath, by January 1971 Rolls-Royce had become insolvent, and on February 4, 1971 was placed into receivership, seriously jeopardizing the L1011 TRI star program. Because of his strategic importance, the company was nationalized by the then conservative government of Edward Heath, allowing development of the RB211 to be completed. As Lockheed was itself in a vulnerable position, the government required that the U.S. government guarantee the bank loans that Lockheed needed to complete the L1011 project. If Lockheed had failed, the market for the RB211 would have evaporated. Despite some opposition, the U.S. government provided these guarantees. In May 1971, a new company called Rolls-Royce Limited acquired the assets of Rolls-Royce from the receiver, and shortly afterwards signed a new contract with Lockheed. This revised agreement cancelled penalties for late delivery, and increased the price of each engine by a £110,000. Kenneth Keith, the new chairman who had been appointed to rescue the company, persuaded Stanley Hooker to come out of retirement and return to Rolls. As technical director he led a team of other retirees to fix the remaining problems on the RB211-22. The engine was finally certified on April 14, 1972, about a year later than originally planned, and the first TRI star entered service with Eastern Airlines on April 26, 1972. Hooker was knighted for his role in 1974. The RB211's initial reliability in service was not as good as had been expected because of the focus of the development program on meeting the engine's performance guarantees. Early deliveries were of the RB211-22C model, derated slightly from the later minus-22B. However, a program of modifications during the first few years in service improved matters considerably and the series has since matured into a highly reliable engine. A B211-524 series. Although originally designed for the L1011-1, Rolls-Royce knew that the RB211 could be developed to provide greater thrust. By redesigning the fan and the IP compressor, Hooker's team managed to increase the engine's thrust to 50,000 a pound force. The new version, which first ran on October 1, 1973, was designated a B211-524, and would be able to power new variants of the L1011, as well as the Boeing 747. Rolls-Royce had tried without success to sell the RB211 to Boeing in the 1960s, but in 
but the new Minus 524 offered significant performance and efficiency improvements over the Pratt & Whitney JT9D which Boeing had originally selected to power the 747. In October 1973 Boeing agreed to offer the RB211-524 on the 747-200, and British Airways became the first airline to order this combination which entered service in 1977. Rolls continued to develop the minus 524, increasing its thrust through 51,500 a pound force with the minus 524C, then 53,000 a pound force in the minus 524D, which was certificated in 1981. Notable airline customers included Qantas, Cathay Pacific, Cargalux, and South African Airways. When Boeing launched the larger 747-400, still more thrust was required and Rolls responded with the minus 524G rated at 58,000 a pound force thrust and then the minus 524H with 60,600. These were the first versions to feature FADEC. The minus 524H was also offered as a third engine choice on the Boeing 767, and the first of these entered service with British Airways in February 1990. These would have been the final developments of the minus 524, but when Rolls developed the successor Trent engine, it found it could fit the Trent 700's improved HP system to the minus 524G and minus 524H. These variants were lighter and offered improved fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. They were designated minus 524GT and minus 524HT respectively. It was also possible to upgrade existing minus 524 grams per hour engines to the improved T configuration, and a number of airlines did this. The minus 524 became increasingly reliable as it was developed, and the minus 524H achieved 180 minute ETOPS approval on the 767 in 1993. The minus 524L begun in 1987 to allow further growth in the A330 and 777 market, was more extensively redesigned, the considerable differences incorporated leading to the engine eventually receiving the name Trent, under which name development has continued. RB211-535 series. In the mid-1970s, Boeing was considering designs for a new twin-engined aircraft to replace its highly successful 727. As the size of the proposed plane grew from 150 passengers towards 200, Rolls-Royce realized that the RB211 could be adapted by reducing the diameter of the fan and removing the first IP compressor stage to produce an engine with the necessary 37,400 pound force thrust. The new version was designated a B211-535. On August 31, 1978 Eastern Airlines and British Airways announced orders for the new 757, powered by the minus 535. Designated a B211-535C, the engine entered service in January 1983. This was the first time that Rolls-Royce had provided a launch engine on a Boeing aircraft. Eastern Airlines President Frank Borman called the Minus 535C the finest airline engine in the world. However, in 1979 Pratt and Whitney launched its Palais 2000 engine, claiming 8% better fuel efficiency than the Minus 535C for the Palais 2037 version. Boeing put Rolls-Royce under pressure to supply a more competitive engine for the 757, and using the more advanced minus 524 core as a basis, the company produced the 40,100 pound force thrust RB211 535 E4, which entered service in October 1984. While still not quite as efficient as the Palais 2037, it was more reliable and quieter. It was also the first to use the wide cord fan, which increases efficiency, reduces noise, and gives added protection against foreign object damage. As a result, a relatively small number of minus 535Cs were installed on production aircraft, the majority using the minus 535E. Probably the most important single minus 535E order came in May 1988 when American Airlines ordered 5757s powered by the minus 535E for citing the engine's low noise as an important factor, 
This was the first time since the TRI star that Rolls-Royce had received a significant order from a U.S. airline, and it led to the minus 535 E4's subsequent market domination on the 757. Humorously at the time of the announcement made by American, selection of the minus 535E4 was made public prior to the selection of the 757, though this was welcome news to both Rolls-Royce and Boeing. After being certified for the 757, the E4 was offered on the Russian Tupolev to 204 120 airliner, entering service in 1992. This was the first time a Russian airliner had been supplied with Western engines. The minus 535E4 was also proposed by Boeing for re-engining the B-52H Stratofortress, replacing the aircraft's ATF-33S with four of the turbofans. Further upgrading of the minus 535E4 took place in the late 1990s to improve the engine's emissions performance, borrowing technology developed for the Trent 700. The minus 535E4 is an extremely reliable engine, and achieved 180-minute ETOPS approval on the 757 in 1990. Industrial RB211, when Rolls-Royce was developing the minus 22, it realized that it would be straightforward to develop a version of the engine for land-based power generation, and in 1974 the industrial RB211 was launched. When the minus 524 arrived shortly afterwards, its improvements were incorporated in the industrial RB211 which was designated a B211-24. The generator was gradually developed over the following years and is still marketed today as a range of generators producing 25.2-32 MW. Many of its installations have been in the offshore oil and gas production industries. Marine WR21 an advanced 25 MW class WR21 intercooled recuperated gas turbine was derived for marine propulsion. Specifications The family is divided into three distinct series RB211 22 series, triple spool high bypass ratio 5.0, single stage wide cord fan, seven stage IP compressor, six stage HP compressor, single annular combustor with 18 fuel burners. Single stage HP turbine, single stage IP turbine, three stage LP turbine, RB211 524 series. Triple spool high bypass ratio 4.3 4.1, single stage wide cord fan, seven stage IP compressor, six stage HP compressor, single annular combustor with 18 fuel burners, single stage HP turbine, single stage IP turbine, three stage LP turbine. RB211-535 series, triple spool high bypass ratio 4.3-4.4, single stage wide cord fan, six stage IP compressor, six stage HP compressor, single annular combustor with 18 fuel burners, single stage HP turbine, single stage IP turbine, three stage LP turbine, as well as a featuring a destitched IP compressor, the minus 535E4 was the first engine to incorporate a hollow wide cord, unsnoobered fan to improve efficiency. It also featured the use of more advanced materials, including titanium in the HP compressor and carbon composites in the nacelle. Later engines incorporate some features from improved models of the minus 524. Leading particulars, see also, related development, Rolls-Royce Trent. Rolls-Royce WR21, comparable engines, Aviad Vigat the PS90, General Electric CF6, Pratt & Whitney JT9D, Pratt & Whitney Palais, 2000, Pratt & Whitney Palais, 4000, Progress D18T, Related Lists, List of Aircraft Engines, References, Notes, Citations, Bibliography, External Links Official Rolls-Royce RB211-524 Site, Official Rolls-Royce RB211-535 Site, Official Rolls-Royce Industrial RB211 Site, The Rolls-Royce RB211 Turbofan, Flight Archive, Rolls-Royce 50,000 Pounder A Flight Article on the RB211-524, RB211-535, Rolls-Royce's Boeing 757 Fan A 1980 Flight Article on the RB211-535, RB211.
Big Fan broadens appeal a 1988 flight article on the RB211 series.